another video. Today's video, as you can see, is on Portal 2. I've already fully played through this, and I'm just gonna turn that down a bit. And now, let's play single player, new game, The Courtesy Call. I've only had this game for three days, and I already have 16.2 hours in this. That's how fun it is. And it's five in the morning, so let's go. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. Damn you, announcer. I mean, you just woke me up for no valid reason. Just for what? A mental wellness exercise? Guess what? I'm already enough of a cripple from being in hibernation for multiple ye years in the game's storyline. So, uh, guess what? I need no exercise or physical wellness. Give me a moment while I screw with the graphics a bit. You will hear a buzzer. Here when you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. This looks good. Good. And it can you will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness this is exercise. Why I like the game. There is a framed painting on That's the wall. Funny. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Staring at the art, you better. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for. Nine, 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 don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, uh, that's you. There's, n there's nothing telling me I can. Um, what are you doing? You're right there? down there. Can you hear me? Hello? I could hear you, but he can't hear me. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you, just, you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Warning. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core What meltdown. is happening? Whoa! Okay, what look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. See, How are you doing, doing down there? Can tell. Still holding on. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. 
Yeah, there is no... Wait, it's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But not enough space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Multiple of them are going to be dead from you, really. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Oh. Okay, almost there. The On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I, I think this is a docking down. station. Get ready. Uh, I think that means docking station below. Good news. That is not a docking Just station. Just go down. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Do, do I gotta jump through there? There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive okay. gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay. That's the spirit. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Is that me? Oh yeah, I guess I am still shy. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If a cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. I think I broke the game. You're going to have to sit through these small, quick loading zones with me. You know that, right? If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Also, I wouldn't be honest, I think I managed to beat this game in like 10 hours from how addicted I was. I mean, it's a good game, so it's not too bad that I'm addicted to it. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. You know, V-Sync, I don't really need that. And I mean, it just brings down performance and it doesn't... It just makes it If the Earth is currently worse. governed by a manner of Animal King, Sentient Cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Why won't Shell punch? Hey! You made it! Okay. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Aww. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Oh! I think it did fall ah! off. Can you see the portal gun? Yeah. Also, are you alive? If that's 
that's important, you've asked that first. I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. So you're not even confident you're not that I'm going to be alive. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. This game is good for a 10-year-old game. I mean, the graphics are great, the story's great, everything about this is great. Well, it does get, it does just spike in difficulty at the end. Uh, this next the test game. is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. How's this going? You know, that kind of made me even more scared. Hmm. Well, I did see that you could destroy the cube and cheese this. But it seems harder to cheese it than, than it is to, to get the cube. Really wanted to destroy the cube. Just so I could soft lock myself. And it would be the one that can't respawn. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Ah! Haha, <laughs> I broke it. I'm fat. Because I managed to break the test chamber. Ooh, what's this? Unreason. Oh, I'm guessing this is a rat man den. I'm not gonna be going in all of those. It's just a waste of time. Forgetting I don't have the orange portal. Oh, I know I get it so I don't know where I get it. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the space test. Debris. Why do I have worry about space debris? Okay, so that gets that open. So then... What do I do? Oh, hey, button. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's this button that activates that, and this button that activates that. First, that. No! Ah, it fell into the water. Well, it's not even water, it's death goo. Spooky, spooky, scary murder stuff. Why did the game... Why did the game just bring me back right here? Just so that this wall does not fall down.
Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. When do we get to my favorite part of this chapter? This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Ah, uh, physics, right. I'm pretty sure this is still a level from Portal 1. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome! And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. Getting this far, no. future starter. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. That hurt. Well, two things hurt. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. Really? The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up there! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes. In the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Come on through! Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three. That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. I am not dead. I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Ah, that one. Go on, just jam me in over there. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Not open. While your back was turned. Okay, and off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. 
Follow the road. Oh, no. Yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact. Whatever you do. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving. Keep moving. Because they can't kill us. Also, now I'm curious what that would look like for the characters in the game. To Probably see bring us. you up to speed on oh, something just, right now. In order to escape, we're gonna have to go. Just during a loading screen, like in between, like one of those airlock type things. Like, would Wheatley be staring at you and thinking, "What just happened? Why aren't they moving?" Through her chamber, and she will probably kill her us if if she's um, awake. Do I really want to go in there? Because I think I know who you're referring to, Weebly. Okay, I'm gonna leave my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Yep. Don't, don't go in there. She, she's I off. She's exactly. off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. All we go. Glados. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down there? You're not gonna believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch me. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This actually... Ah! Oh, still held. Still being held. You that's a great I job. You've applied the, the grit. We're all fine. No, that's I'm tremendous. I'm going to put Wheatley on the rail. Put him on the rail and abandon him. Ah! I just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! Oh, I just stuck it again. <laughs> now I'm going to stumble around just so I can force you to look down. Right. This is the main breaker room. Look for a switch that says escape pod. Uh, Alright, don't touch anything else. Not interested in anything these else. Things don't touch anything labeled. else. Don't, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else. Well, to, they have the same way. But as soon as you look at something, uh, it doesn't say escape pod. Look read. at something else. Look at the next thing. All right, but don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Or they're off. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see yeah. it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. Let there be light. That's uh, God. Still quoting God. Oh, look at that. Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now, escape pod, escape pod. It would probably pod. be worse if this it started moving up. Okay, okay. okay. no, don't, don't worry, don't worry, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. This should slow it down. No, no that's it makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Um, okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Um, what? I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine, I'll just, I'll just hack. Not a problem. A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A or L, lowercase a, then DOS with all caps. Power up, complete. I don't, okay, 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 listen, all right, new plan. Act natural, act natural, nothing. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Uh... Okay, look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monsters. No, Glados. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. No. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. No. 
No, I think this is chapter two. Let me just check. Then the community complained that it would probably be too hard with the crushers. Yeah, yeah, yada. Careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, <gasps> forced really, to win if you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. Oh, come more on. Less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. This is actually the start because there will have been like a track platform here that led you to the end. At least I think so. That's gonna go. Yep. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back with me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing for the rest of your life. That just After that, happen. who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Oh, that sounds a bit... Hey, wait a minute! What else? You're not going to reanimate my de dead body so you can test. Up chapter two. Well, you know what time it is. It's reached chapter two. And, that was, and I mean, this video's title is not chapter one and chapter two. So. Well, looks like we, he ran out of editing budget. Have a good rest of your day or night, or whenever you're watching this. Cat Gamer out. <laughs>